Hi there, Miss Ella here, Learn to Grow. Today I'm going to be assembling our new tiller and cultivator by Mantis, and this is going to come in very handy with our new garden projects. So once you open up the box, you wanna keep it upright, and we're going to be removing the loose parts and the tine box. The tines are in this box here. Next step, you want to lay the box on its side. Carefully open up the bottom end. Tip the box over and carefully remove the box. First, we're going to insert a three inch fold through the handle clamp and insert that on the elbow of the first hole of the handle. Slide the other handle through, slide the other clamp on, and secure that finger tight with the lock nut. We'll tighten this up later on. Next step, slide this assembly through the channels at the base of the engine. Take your other three inch bolt and secure that with a lock nut. Next, slide your carry handle over the two lower handles, just like so. Next, you want to attach the carriage bolts to the upper handle and secure it with the screw-on knobs. Through the hole here. Same thing on the other side. Make sure to cap the exposed bolts with the acorn nuts. Secure the cable with a throttle clip onto the lower part of the handle. Now we're going to attach the handle brace on the upper handles with our cap screws and block nuts. Make sure to tighten all the nuts and bolts. Now we're going to remove the box and lean the tiller to its side so we can attach the tines. The hole on the tines are a D shape so it aligns with the axle. So we we'll just go ahead and slide it through. You want to secure it with a retaining pin to keep it in place. The tines are reversible, so for tilling, you'll want the blades to face away from the operator, so facing forward. So we'll go ahead and place the other tine. To cultivate, you want the blades to face toward the operator. It's going to be this way. So now the blades are reversed, which is pointing towards the operator. And cultivating just digs up the soil about a couple of inches, which is great for removing weeds and loosening up the top two inches of the soil. For tilling, you'll want the blades to face forward, so that way it'll dig deeper, about 8 to 12 inches deep. Okay, last part, we're going to put the kickstand. So first, you want to put the kickstand brace in the lower part of the handle. And you're going to fasten that with the brace bolt. I think I did okay. It took me about an hour and 15 minutes or so. So not too bad at all. And I cannot wait to use this in our garden. We have a few projects going on. This will come in handy. It'll be less labor intensive. So stay tuned. I'll be getting more into details about this tiller on our next video, and then we'll use it in the garden. I hope that you guys found this video helpful. Let me know if you have any questions or comment down below. And for more information about the Mantis tiller, check the links below. Thank you so much for joining me and happy gardening.